What's up, YouTube? Bringing another hardy species for you all. Um, so I'm going to talk about uh, Val today. This really tall plant here that's uh, going to the top of my uh, tank here. Not not that plant, this plant, that uh, thin one right there. I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about. Um, so Jungle Val, um, it, um, it can melt back on you when it's ad first adapting into your uh, aquarium setting. Um, but it usually just comes right back, and sometimes it doesn't even melt, but that's a downside to this plant, just wanted to let you all know. I've also heard that Excel can, um, hurt it too, Flourish Excel. Um, haven't had experience with that, so I can't back it up for sure, but I've heard that by, uh, many sources. And, um, but this plant's super hardy, guys. Once it, uh, once it really just gets used to how, uh, your aquarium is, uh, good, bad, um, no nutrients, uh, barely any light. Um, it will still grow for you. Um, for me, it's just getting crazy growth, and it that just depends on your um, factors in your aquarium. Like I said, this plant is super hardy. It will take the abuse of almost any aquarium. Um, but uh, the better um, conditions that it's in, uh, the better it will grow. Um, and you'll just start sending off runners everywhere, like I got one there, and I got one there, and it's just awesome. So, um, and it gives you this nice, um, like, once it gets to the top, it kind of, like, flows over, and it has, like, that nice look. I can't wait for, uh, this polysperma to grow, and then I'll have kind of, like, three nice, distinct areas of plants, and then I'll look really nice. And that's something you can really do with Val, like, I think it'd be really cool if you had, like, an outflow right here... And then the valve just went like poof, right in, right in front of you. That 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 would be really cool. Um, so yeah, that's valve for you folks. Later, subscribe.